Hi, I'm Carolyn Goff of Breathing Space Professional Organizing, and this is Make Sense TV. When you feel your stuff has taken control of you, keep watching. To quote artist William Morris, have nothing in your home that you do not know to be useful or believe to be beautiful. The big question everyone asks at the beginning of this process is where to start. Well, look at the big picture and start with those areas or things that bother you the most. Make a list of your top three hot spots and start with the one that bothers you the most. Dedicate some scheduled time to the process. Don't try to squeeze it in when you have a spare moment. Even 15 minutes a day during your most productive time can start to make an impact. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Think small and manageable. Start with a drawer, a tabletop, or a rack in your closet. Do not attempt to take on the whole room in one session. You will be overwhelmed and daunted. Set small goals with time frames. When you have achieved your goal, reward yourself, and I call this positive motivation. Get the family on board and make it a game for younger members. They are more apt to buy into the system if they have helped create the system. So what to move on? Anything that you do not like. But first, check with family members. If it is theirs, have them take responsibility for it. Items that are broken or not working, that aren't repairable or not likely to be repaired. Clothing that is not enjoyed, ripped, stained beyond repair, doesn't fit or flatter or is hideously dated or hasn't been worn in 12 months. Any items that are no longer in use and are just taking up valuable space. So now, what to do with the things that you're moving on? Can the item be reused for another purpose? For example, old cotton clothes can be made into cleaning rags. Donate to churches or charities. Give away to friends or family. Consign quality clothing or antiques. Have a garage sale. And the last case, you can throw it in the garbage or recycle. While decluttering, stay away from the mindset of keeping something with the idea that maybe it will become useful someday. Be ruthless. Remember, this is the space that you live in, not your stuff. Make room for what you really want. Own consciously instead of owning by default and honor what you have. So next month, I will be giving you some organizing tips, so check back. And if you have any organizing issues that you would like me to address, please drop me a line here at Make Sense TV or at Breathing Space Professional Organizing. You can consign if they're quality items, quality clothing and antiques. Have a garage sale? <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs>